Good morning. We are here in New Zealand. Uh, we put Gargoyle on a transport about uh, two weeks ago. And we've been getting a lot of questions about what are we going to do with the cats. So we thought we'd uh, do a session here and talk about shipping our cats from New Zealand and getting them into the EU. To a foreign country. They've already been to 13 countries and this will be 14 and 15 here very soon. So 16 actually. And 16. So Carla, what do we have to do to get the cats into another country? Um, well, the first thing we needed to do because we are shipping them internationally is to find a pet exporter who can work with the officials here in New Zealand and then to find a pet importer um, which we're going to be working with in Amsterdam because the cats are going to be flying um, on Singapore Airlines and they're going to be departing on the 1st. They're going to land in Singapore for two or three hours and then they're going to be landing in Amsterdam. So after we secured the assistance of a, a pet transporter, we then learned what the different requirements were. And that process kicked off with a visit to the vet. We have been working really hard for the last couple of weeks to get Gargo ready to go, um, but now we have to get her crew ready to go. So, beautiful rainy day here in Auckland, and uh, it's time to take the kids to the vet so they can get certified to head to Europe. <laughs> just dodged a major bullet. Um, the way that the vaccine records were done in our vaccination book was not the proper way. So um, the vet basically told us that our rabies vaccinations were null and void and we have 26 days before they depart. Um, New Zealand, they don't keep vaccines around because it's a rabies free country. So they did have two by just chance that someone had canceled their travel plans. So we were able to get those two, which makes us within the 21 days, has to be at least 21 days before they can depart the country. So now they've had the new vaccines and everything is in their books correctly. And we're all good, so we're golden. Another big checklist item done and our paperwork is in order. Holy we're crap. gonna go have a cocktail. Carla's gonna have a cocktail. <laughs> Carla's gonna have a big cocktail. <laughs> Once we had all the biosecurity paperwork completed, we thought the easy part would come along, right? Just booking a couple flights for the cats to get to Ireland. Well, unfortunately, traveling internationally, you have to typically stay with the same airline. And there's no airlines that fly from New Zealand into Dublin. Our next choice was to fly them either to the UK or to anywhere in the EU. And we've opted to fly them to Amsterdam because Amsterdam, Netherlands, is part of the EU. We can get them into Amsterdam. We can do another vet visit so we can obtain their EU passports. And once they have their EU passports, they're gonna be able to travel within the EU freely. Because we're flying in the Schengen area, we're gonna be able to put them in the cabin with us for the short flight to Dublin. Now with the cats booked, we've got a little bit less than a week until departure. The plan is we're going to drop the cats off at Elite Pet Services. We're going to leave the day before the cats do. One, it's cheaper, and number two, it gets us there before they arrive. So we can get into Amsterdam, make sure everything's set, then we'll be there to receive them when they actually arrive on the ground in Amsterdam. And I'm sure you're wondering, oh, how much did all of this cost? Well, stay tuned, because once we go through the process, we'll do a summary at the end. What are you doing? What are you doing? We 
are saying goodbye to our Airbnb, our home away from home in New Zealand for the last three weeks. And in typical New Zealand fashion, it is pissing down rain. Windier than shite. And windier than shite, Carla says. So we're heading out. Goodbye to our retreat. A wonderful walking road that we had and our cows and all the other fun livestock animals around here. This is a wonderful area to relax in. And now, we are off. Turn right on the State Highway 16. With Continue on State Highway 16 for 24 kilometers. We dropped the cats off this morning at the Elite Pet Services and Michelle, who has been doing all the transport information, oh, it's bumpy, is gonna take care of getting them to the airport tomorrow morning while we depart today to get there ahead of them. So off we go onto the super highway. And another site of the Sky Tower and the beautiful downtown skyline here in Auckland. I can even see the mast of the super yachts. World famous Auckland Harbor Bridge. Close. Sam's complaining in the back seat a little bit. We're driving through farm country here, it looks like. In about five minutes, we'll be at the Cattery and Elite Pet Services. Okay, we've arrived. Just need to figure out which one's A and which one's B. I would guess the furthest is B, but I don't know. Yes, I see the sign for Elite Pet Services. Elite Pet Services. Aha! We have All arrived. Right. There he is. Amanda! <coughs> Dean, are you still alive? You're awful quiet. He's really <laughs> quiet. They're probably like, oh, we know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're so, uh, so intuitive animals, they know. Oh yeah, they when, know. when they see us pack it up, they know. They, they sure know, do. yeah. They sure do. Righto, come in, come in. They're travel crates. Okay, oh, I'm traveling. great. Okay, so Huge. those are basically what you would get. Yeah, well that's what they've got to, that's the minimum size for travel these days. So. Oh yeah. Hello, mate. Hello. He says, what's going on? Oh, a new, a new house. <laughs> what do you reckon? He says, hang on, what's going yeah. on there? Hello, oh, buddy. There's Check one. It out. <laughs> Oh, hello. Are you grumpy? <laughs> oh, are you grumpy? Oh, she's been grumping oh, at me the whole way. Oh, yes, you've got the more, more um, round face. Yes. Chubby cheeks. He's more yeah. the typical Devon Rex. Yes. Oh. Hey, just put her in the cage. She's I'm not going to be impressed. Cage. And I'll put a puppy pad underneath in some newspaper so it's all absorbent underneath in case they do pee. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I do. Cool oh, setup. Yeah, hit the names uh -huh. on. <laughs> we'll see you in the EU. Bye, Sammy. Bye, Sammy. Yeah. So what's that, Carla? So they're ice, so that they, I guess This they is ice spill. to put in the, the water bowls for the uh -huh. crates, so that, yeah, it doesn't spill so much when they're loading the aircraft, because it stays wow. solid. Wow, okay. If you just put water in there, when they're loading, it just slops everywhere, yeah. and the bedding gets wet. Yep, so that's that, and that's that, and all I need is the box. Yep. So what will happen tomorrow is when I do the MPI checks, and they'll check all this, um, they'll get the health certificate for Netherlands. Um, I'll email a copy of that to you guys tomorrow and to Marjan okay. and the original travel with them on the crates. So it'll be in a plastic slip on the travel crates. Okay. What happens in Singapore when they have their layover? So they just go from one mm -hmm. off one airline airport, and right into the next one? Two okay. Hours, so just yeah. basically they just take them straight off, straight mm -hmm. on. We go have ahead. very limited availability on Singapore Airlines because they only take five pets per flight. So to get on that flight connection is very, very difficult. Cool. So we're very lucky to get on there, but um, because it is the shortest connection for the animals. Well, our babies are dropped off. Looks like they're in really good hands. Michelle at Elite Pet Services has been awesome, awesome to deal yeah. with, and she's even more awesome in person. Yeah, she's great. And uh, our babies, I miss them. And like she said, they have an amazing connection. They literally only have 24 hours of travel to get, what, two thirds around the world? Oh, yeah, they've got 10 hours less of travel than we do, which. <sighs> Speaking of, we need to go to the airport. Yes, time to drop off the rental car. It's our next stop. Right, now we are coming in to drop off our rental car. And then we'll head over to the airport. We'll follow the other little aqua. Your destination is on the left. I don't know where we go, do you?
We think we go over here. And we're here. Well, cats are then. Well, it's good. Rental cars in the little mine fiasco now. Just wait for our plane to arrive. Cheers. We are here in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. The morning of May the 1st. It is. The May 1st? No, it's April 30th. I think it's April 30th. <laughs> That's okay. Anyways, we've been traveling for 24 hours. Yeah, at least. We like nine or 10 to go. But one more leg and we'll be in Amsterdam. Yes, I'm ready. The kids are on the plane. Mm -hmm. Sam hasn't wounded anybody yet. And the boat's still waiting to go through the canal, so. Yeah, so. We are off. We'll be having beer in Amsterdam today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. We have arrived <laughs> in Amsterdam. 43? 43 and a half hours door to door. So that's a good, that's a good two days of travel. travel. We left Vancouver in May of 2019. Correct. With the plan to be in Europe in 2020. Correct. And we finally made it. And we finally made it to <laughs> Europe. We're, we're here. Sam and Dean will be here tomorrow. I'll be here in about 15 hours. They're in, they just left Singapore. So the next big adventure will be doing some shopping tomorrow for some kitty supplies. Kitty litter. And then receiving our kitties. So tonight, I think we're going to sleep. See you guys in the morning and uh, we'll see how our crew has fared on their first flights. Good morning. It is freezing. Freezing here. We are on to the game store. We're trying. We're trying to find it and based on our history, we're more than likely going to get lost. thing we've just noticed is number one now we're walking on the wrong side of the sidewalk and number two we looked the wrong direction when we crossed streets so luckily we haven't been killed yet but could happen anytime happen anytime <laughs> This toy is a waste of money. Okay, we have cat stuff. We have two hours before. So now we're gonna grab a cup of Java. Sure. Write some postcards and get ready for our kitties. just heard from Zoo Logistics that they're going to be dropping off the cats in the next 10 minutes so we're going to head down and wait for their driver the kitty limo the kitty limo to pick the cats up these guys are getting the royal treatment I didn't get a limo Hi! The kitty limousine has arrived. Yeah, I got two family members for you. Yes. Hello guys, who's there? Hey guys. Hey guys. Look who's there. Hey! Oh, that sounds familiar. Yes. <laughs> yep. We, we changed it, give them some dry stuff. Cleaned it all up. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's a long trip. That is a very long trip. Oh. Hi bud. Dun, 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 dun. Come on out, buddy! Oh, somebody Where else wants out. out. There you go, there she Come goes. Hi. They made it. They, they made, made it. They actually don't look any worse for wear than we did when we got to the hotel. They actually look better than we they did. They look better. Yep. Zips, just I'm had not going uh, back in there. Twenty-four hours of sleep. 
They got pictures. They're checking things out. Anyways, the crew is reunited. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Taxes are expensive in Amsterdam, so we opted to have the vet come to us. Home Vet is a great service here in the city, and Dr. Delphine was amazing with our furry crew. After checking their microchips, she walked us through the documentation for the pet EU passports required for travel. With all the paperwork verified and documented, all that was left was a quick routine checkup for both of them. And now with passports in hand, or PAW, they are both ready for their last leg of travel. Now we can breathe easy and take tomorrow off to do some touring. have their passports. We have one free day here in Amsterdam and we are going to go exploring. Woohoo! Yay! First thing we? we're going to do is... Well, first thing we did was get a coffee. coffee. <laughs> now we're going to do a river canal cruise. Yeah, and we're trying to get tickets for the Anne Frank Museum, but it's totally sold out. But it's right over there. They have Bombay and Jack Daniels. <laughs> they have everything you could want and more. There's a fully stocked bar in this baby. When they touched it, and it's called Haring Pad. It's the only way of cleaning the fish. The canals aren't that deep. The canals aren't three meters. We have just finished the canal tour, and now we're going to do a culinary walking food tour for the next four hours. Wow, so um, we're gonna fill our faces basically for the next four oh, hours. There's drinking involved. <gasps> Yay! Yes, not just food, yeah. alcohol. So, we are just saying how we are so happy. I'm giddy. Giddy to be in Europe finally. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Only three years late. It's wonderful. Yay! <laughs> it's Friday, we're on our last leg. I'm on my last leg. <laughs> it's about 7.30 in the morning. We got the cats through security. We had an awesome day touring yesterday. Yeah. But we can't wait to be settled someplace for the next, what, 10 days? 10 days. At least 10 days, yeah, until Gargoyle gets here. It'll be nice. So, we're ready for a break. We're almost in Ireland. This is the cheapest segment the whole thing because the cats actually get to go on board with us so and use their new kitty passports which is pretty cool yeah they did they got yeah they went through passport control mm -hmm. security and now they just sleep there <laughs> here we are we are finally in ireland and not just us but sam and dean are here with us as well running around and we wanted to take a few minutes here and run through the costs of what it took to get Sam and Dean from Auckland, New Zealand to Ireland. Once we had an airline picked, the first cost associated with shipping the cats was the vet visit, which was $50 to get the MPI documentation done. And then we had to buy the two crates for the cats, which cost us an additional $200. Then we had to pay our pet exporter. And that was $2,800 to ship the cats from New Zealand all the way to Amsterdam via Singapore Airlines. And what does that include? Well, that includes the overnight stay for the cats, working with MPI, taking the cats to MPI biosecurity before the flights to complete the paperwork, then taking them over to Singapore Airlines, getting them ready for their flights. And then finally, our exporter sent all the documentation to our importer in Amsterdam. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. All of the paperwork to our pet importer in Amsterdam, Zoo Logistics, to finalize all of that. 24 hours later, Sam and Dean land in Amsterdam and Zoo Logistics takes over. And Zoo Logistics picks up the cats from Singapore Airlines, goes through biosecurity and customs, 
and finally did deliver the cats to us for a total of $950. Please note out of that $950, $350 was for the VAT and then it was another $100 to get the cats delivered. Now the cats are in Amsterdam and what do they need to travel through Europe? Pet passports. How cool is that? Sam and Dean, they have their own pet passports now after they've traveled to 15, 16 countries. Yes. They're official. So having the vet come, do the cat inspection, do the passport, and visit us in our hotel was another cost for $250. Now that they have these handy dandy passports, they can travel in the cabin of the plane through our KLM flight for a mere $100 to get them here to Ireland. So when you tally it all up, the total cost was $4,350 Canadian to transport our cats from Auckland, New Zealand to Dublin, Ireland. I hope they enjoyed the champagne in first class on that flight in their pods. Uh, they say the cats had a much better travel plan than we did. Uh, they flew on Singapore Air, uh, simply one stop, about 24 hours of travel, 25 hours of travel time. The reason why we didn't fly with the cats on Singapore Airlines is because we were trying to save costs by flying through the milk run, so to speak, to get to Amsterdam. Instead of paying $5,500 to fly on Air Singapore, we ended up paying $3,500 flying through co-shared airlines all the way to Amsterdam. And that wouldn't even have been an option with the cats because flying internationally, the cats have to fly with a single carrier. Uh, or you need to check them into the country, go through customs, biosecurity in each country, have a vet check them, incur all that additional cost and a layover, and then move them to the other airline. So this was, we thought, the most efficient way in which to have the cats travel. You don't necessarily need a pet exporter or importer, but check with your airlines because some of them require them. Singapore Air did. And also, please note that if something goes wrong in the process, changing air flight tickets and getting the availability to ship your pets on the next flight might be expensive and not available. So by using an exporter and importer, it was a very smooth process. Yeah, a couple of learnings along those lines we had was number one, if the paperwork is not done exactly as the importing country or the exporting country, requires it to be, they will kick it back. If you're doing it and that happens at the last minute, they're likely gonna knock you off the flight while you fix the paperwork and you're gonna have to rebook it. Another thing is when you are transporting the cats, they typically have limited space for pets down below. Cats, dogs, any pets are transported typically in the forward cargo hold. And we learned that there's approximately five spaces for pets to be transported in those holds. Your pets are subject to being bumped by a last minute passenger who is shipping their pet on the same flight that they're traveling on. That could be a huge issue at the last minute because as we found, it's not as if you get bumped to the next flight. These flights fill up fast and it can take weeks to get them booked on the next flight. The last thing is when our cats did arrive in Dublin with these handy passports, it was a quick inspection of the passport, uh, verification of their microchip, and they were through biosecurity. So we are looking forward mm -hmm. to traveling in the EU with our furry crew. I, I'm the first to admit I'm willing to get microchipped if it means I don't have to stand in passport control lines for an hour, which is what we did. Sam and Dean took them five minutes. Bleep, bleep. They were through. Really do want to close it out though. I wouldn't do anything differently in transporting the pets. Elite Pet Services and Zoo Logistics were amazing. And I know you could shave a few dollars off here or there, possibly if you don't make a mistake and have to pay more, but uh, they just made this so easy. And Sam and Dean came through this with flying colors. So it was just an amazing experience all the way around. And they didn't mind flying in the cabin either. So we have a few more days here in Ireland to do some exploring and um, our home is going to arrive soon. If you like this video, please click the like button. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications of new videos. Ciao for now.